There are always new products hitting the market as growers get ready for the 2018 growing season. At the recent Northern Ag Expo, we met up with seed companies to find out what's new. Scott Anderson is a seed sales specialist for Cebus. We have a new plant breeding technique called gene editing, where we are able to go into a, a plant cell and make positive changes based on what we want to almost accelerate any mutation that could occur in nature. He says they can get traits they want without adding any foreign genes and they qualify for non-GMO status. He says there will be three new canola varieties on the market for 2018. We're also developing a non-GMO flax that's, that has a, a herbicide tolerant trait and we're working on rice and potatoes as well. And rice is a herbicide event and potatoes a disease tolerant trait. Dairyland Seed is excited about Enlist E3 soybeans. They're still waiting for approval from the European Union and China, but through a closed loop system, the seed will be available for the next growing season. We do have approval. Uh, Jenny, hold the door because things will be getting really excited. With tolerance to 2,4-D choline glyphosate and glufosinate, Enlist E3 soybeans will allow farmers to employ multiple herbicide modes of action post-emergence. I've actually seen it probably four years ago, sprayed next to tomatoes and seen no, in no injury situation. It's a new technology, a new compound of 2,4-D called 2,4-D choline that does not move. Ray Hybrids is a regional brand for Monsanto. They specialize in corn and soybeans for the Dakotas. This year in our catalog, we actually brought on several new products that's going to improve on that IDC score, get growers into that new technology that they need for weed control, and really see the performance that they're expecting. The company is looking forward to the next generation of technology coming, perhaps as early as 2019 for growers, but 2018 for Ray Hybrid test plots. So it's actually going to have Roundup, it'll have Dicamba, and it'll also incorporate Liberty into the same plant. So now that gives growers the option to pick the tool that works best for them. 